Carrie. And this is Ziggy. And today I'm going to show you how I organize my pantry. I'm so excited because this pantry really needed to be organized. A couple of months ago I started the process. I was buying bins, trying to fit things in there. Then I kind of lost steam. I didn't have enough bins and I didn't finish the project. But today the project will be finished. Everything I use to organize will be linked down below in case you're interested in checking them out. Also, if you're enjoying my video, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when videos come out. Step one is to come up with a container plan. So assess what you already have and what you can use. I already had some clear containers and white containers. So I decided my color scheme would be white and clear. If you don't already have containers, think about what you like. Do you like woven woods, mason jars? Are there certain pops of color you'd like to add to your pantry? Do you like Lazy Susans? Maybe like bins you can stack. And think about when you look at pictures of pantries, what really catches your eye? What aesthetic do you like? Okay, back to my container plan. For a couple of years now, I've been using these airtight containers and really like them. So I bought a few more to use. I already had plenty of these white IKEA bins but I needed a few more clear bins, so I bought a few more of those. I love tiered shelving for my cans. I already had two, so I bought one more of these. And when I assessed my pantry, I already had enough containers for my different flowers. So that was something I did not need to go and purchase more of. Ideally, you wanna save money by using containers you already have and just adding a few more to your pantry collection. Once you have all the containers you need, it's time for step two. Organize by category. I'm starting with snacks. I knew we had a lot of snack food. Fruit roll-ups, chips, dried fruit, seaweed. So I pulled it all out and decided to use my stackable clear bin. On the bottom portion, I put snacks that are not very tall and don't take up much space. Seaweed worked well, as did these yo-yo bear fruit and veg rolls. I could put taller snacks on top. That's where my dried mangoes go, and the kind granola bars, as well as these Stretch Island fruit leathers. The next category I'm organizing is pasta. We have lots of different kinds of noodles and mac and cheese. Then I continued by category seeds and nuts, cereal, all canned goods go on tiered shelving, Food that is open that we use regularly are going on the Lazy Susan. As our baking supplies, boxes of baking mixes fit really well in these shallow white bins. And big bags of chips fit really well in these big white bins. Step three is to plan your placement. I put frequently eaten foods and snacks at eye level or close to eye level. For heavy or bulky appliances, I put them at mid-level so I didn't have to reach above my head to grab them. If there are snacks you don't want your kids to reach, put those up a little higher. And also when planning placement, group similar items together. Here we have our cake flour next to other baking goods like chocolate chips and cocoa powder. And these are close to our other baking supplies as well. Up here is a drink shelf, out of reach from the kids because they'd have drinks all day long, especially chocolate milk. The next step is optional and it's adding labels. To be honest, I'm not completely sold on these particular labels. They have very specific things like white cornmeal, self-rising cornmeal, dissected coconut, when what I really needed were more labels for snacks and baking. And once you're all done, expect to save money and time. You'll be able to find the food you need quickly and when you're making your grocery list, you can come and take a peek in your pantry and very quickly see what you have, what you don't have, what you need more of, and not accidentally buy foods you already have in your pantry. So I'm very excited about how this turned out. Up here, I have these tiered shells for all of my canned goods and soups. For overflow items, I stack them up, put them in the back so you can still see them. I have my tomato marinara sauce with all my tomato sauces. There's diced tomatoes back there. And here we have chicken broth and soup. 
This is also used for soup and for dips. And over here we have nuts and nut butters. And the almond butter, peanut butter, honey. And this is a dark chocolate almond spread. The ones that are open I keep here on the Lazy Susan turntable. And the ones that are not open yet are stored behind them. Here are the nuts. It's very easy for me to see if we need to order more. Like I see here, I'm low on sunflower seeds. Could use a few more pumpkin seeds too. These labels I already had. I put the new labels on. I'm not completely sold on them being mix and matched. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. And overflow nuts are back there. On the higher level, I have things I don't want my kids getting into. We have some chocolate raisins, some old Easter chocolate eggs, cookies. There are raisins, I put those up there because they are toxic to dogs, so I don't want my kids to grab them and drop them on the floor. Here we have cooking oils, our overflow or extra ketchup and mayonnaise and apple cider vinegar, and cereal. Way up top, we have our cleaning products, including vinegar, my favorite cleaning product, some of our extra soap, our Swiffer supplies, and our cleaning caddies. Let's go to my favorite spot, shall we? I love this snack area. By being able to stack the snacks, it's a real space saver, and it looks super neat and organized. My little one still loves her yogurt melts. We keep our vacuum cleaner close by in the pantry, so it's nice and convenient. We're gonna continue with more snacks here. Here are the chips you saw me organize. These are big bags of chips that are already open, so if somebody wants chips, they know to go here, and if there are no more left, then they can go over here where we have the unopened bags of chips. And in between, we have the popcorn. And you may have seen me make popcorn with this hot pop popcorn popper. Keep it with the popcorn so it's nice and convenient. We eat a lot of crackers, so we have a giant cracker box right down here. Even more over here, these are the ones that the kids love. We have our tea organized. Those containers are specifically made for tea. Since cocoa is another hot drink, we have it right back there. A little overflow tea over here. And our vacuum cleaner accessories. In the pantry, I also have this table. I bought this on Etsy and I thought it was super cute and very farmhouse-like. It's actually very handy when I get groceries. Slide everything back and I can put things on here while I'm getting things out of bags and organizing them. Got our fun little signs here. And the other side of the pantry. This time, let's start on the bottom. Down here, I have a whole bunch of popsicle molds. I actually am going to try these Zoku ones. They are quick freeze popsicle molds. If they work well, then I'm donating the rest. In these containers, and by the way, all the white ones are IKEA containers. We keep our extra plastic bags that we reuse. This, you might be thinking, hmm, why do you have that in there? Well, this was my mom's. And this was in her kitchen for years and years, and it reminds me of being a kid. She used to keep cookies in here, and so I have really good memories of opening this up and grabbing a snack. And the reason why we have plastic bags when we use reusable bags is because, again, this is being filmed in 2020, and we are social distancing, so we have to get grocery deliveries, and they deliver the food and plastic bags. Okay, so these are two heavy workers in our family. The Instant Pot and the Air Fryer. So they're on this middle level where it's easy to grab them. You don't want to have to reach up and grab it and have it fall on your head. Over here, we have our pasta bin. This is the one you saw me organize with the glass noodles and the mac and cheese. And baking supplies start right here. I have a lot of baking soda because it's good for cooking and cleaning and deodorizing refrigerators. These are food dyes, baking cups, and gelatin. And up here, we have various kinds of cake flour and muffin flour. More baking supplies including chocolate chips and cocoa powder. There's protein powder in here and nutritional yeast. More baking supplies. On a Lazy Susan, which you know I love. My muffin mixes and pancake mixes. Can you tell I like Simple Mills? This is not sponsored by the way. And all my different flowers are here. 
I actually labeled these and organized these a couple months ago. So I'm very proud of myself for having done that already. Moving on up, paper towels and napkins. Don't keep them all bagged up in their bags. Take them out so you can just grab them and it looks neater and cleaner. And here are the drinks. I also have some extra sugary snacks up here, kind of hiding from the kids. These are food carriers, cupcake carrier, bucket because you know sometimes you need a bucket. And there's an ice cream maker over there. So what did you think? I hope you enjoyed my tips for organizing your pantry. Again, links to everything I used will be down below in case you want to check out those items. And how do you organize your pantry? If you have some tips, let me know in the comments. If you have pictures of your pantries on Instagram, I'd love to see them. I'm going to go have some snacks for my pantry. I'll see you guys in the next video.